I'm cool as makeup and I'm gonna do a watermelon and coconut makeup store for get started. I did my brows, did some moisturizer, and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's your channel. Let's get started. This has been requested by one of you guys. Whoever sent this request in, thank you very much. This color combo combines, like, two colors, watermelon and coconut. I think it will look very cute for late summer. On to the makeup. Prop powder, I took Tarte Kitty one, you know, Joe. And I wait for a drop before I get into my left eye. The palette that I'm using is Beauty Glaze Color Studio Palette. There is no mirror, so I won't blind you. I'm taking the hot pink that, that's next to the baby pink, the light brown and the matte white the brushes i'm using are two oh free from best soap a crease brush a lower lash line brush a packer brush and one equal tools full blush brush for the crease i'm taking a hot pink which is sort of like a watermelon pink the brush i'm using is the best tool fluffy crease brush I don't know the name of it. The paper is somewhere in my room, and I'm gonna ignore the Blue Jay that's outside when I'm filming this. If you're watching me for the first time, or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie, and I've been doing makeup videos for four years now. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on making makeup videos on YouTube. What's up, not pigment? Pigment. I'm going to blend it. The colors be there when I open my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, that looks good. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a light brown to represent the shell of the coconut. The brush I'm using is this Best Choke Medium Apple Brush. One of you guys in the comments told me that my lower lash line is where my lower lashes is and I read your comment and now I'm sticking to it. I might need to add like one more layer for the sake of this video. My right eye is my good eye for reference. I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. It looks good. The light brown will represent the shell of a coconut. For more one, I'm taking NYX Epic Wear Water Stick and All Time Olive. This will represent the green part of a watermelon. Like, you know, the outside. I believe that looks good. And I did a watermelon inspired make a tutorial last year in 2023. And I did a coconut inspired make a tutorial recently, like I believe last month. For the lid, I'm taking the matte white, which is sort of like sheer on my skin tone. The brush I'm using is this best hope then shitter brush i might need to add like two layers this will represent the flesh or the meat of a coconut okay i think that looks good i don't know if there's fall on my face ignore my right under eye well, I don't know what's happening. I believe that looks good. For an inner corner, I'm taking Hard Candy Rose Gold Highlighter, the Mill Rose Gold shade. I can post mascara to the side, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on as a complete prep blush. I'm taking the Essence Mosaic Blush, and all you need is pink. The brush I'm using is the Equal Tools Full Blush Brush. I'm going to smile. 
and sweep it a little bit towards my temple this will represent the pink part of a watermelon i think that looks good just a light sweeping of blush to highlight the rest of my face i'm taking hard candy rose gold highlight but this time i'm taking the white gold shade to represent like the fruit of a coconut i'm gonna start on my nose nor places that i highlight i cannot lose with all highlighter it is the icing on the cake for me and my go-to highlighter shade is white I don't know if this might show up. It is a sunny day in London. By reference towards the end of the summer, to represent watermelon seeds, I'm taking my auburn brow pencil that I used earlier. And I'm going to create some fake freckles. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have freckles already myself. Like there's one like on my right eyelid. And then I'm going to take my fingers and softly blend them. So they look sort of realistic. When you're doing fake freckles, make sure to take a reddish brown, like, brow pencil, I guess. Since I'm a natural redhead, like, Auburn is the go-to for me. I believe that looks close to watermelon seeds. For lip prep, I took EOS Coconut Milk. Lip balm, this smells like coconut. And then the real amount is some toilet paper, so it's a nice and hydrate. Chap lips are not cute to line my lips. I'm taking Annabelle Cosmetics Big Show Gel Lip Liner in Fall for Fuchsia. This will represent the watermelon part. And this does not have to be perfect. sort of like around there. This is an optional step. Uh, you can take your finger and slowly blend it in. So it just looks seamless. For clear gloss, I'm taking Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Sun. This will represent the coconut part. This smells like vanilla coconut to me. Just in the center. Here is the completed watermelon and coconut makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This turned out really cute, especially for late summer. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.